Soybean is the most important grain legume crop in the world in terms of its use in human foods and livestock feeds. Soybean is unique in having high concentrations of both oil and protein. It has the highest protein concentration of all edible legumes. Approximately one third of the world's edible oils and two thirds of the world's protein meal are derived from soybean. Soybean provides about 52% of the world's conventional oil seeds. According to FAO 2009 report, it is the fourth largest grain crop in terms of production in 2007. In 2011, as a phase of the problem identification and the prioritization of the project implementation, the innovation team of JU Cascade project conducted participatory rural appraisal. During that time, farmers were asked to mention the crops they grow and prioritize in terms of their importance and the area of land they allocate for the different crops. With this approach, it was found that the major crops grown by farmers in this western part of the country are cereal crops, mainly maize, sorghum, and teff. Farmers practice monocropping. They grow maize or teff on the same land for several years. These have both high weed and disease pest infestation and the soil nutrient degradation. On the other hand, farmers rely on these cereals for their day-to-day -day food. Farmers in this area rely less on animal products, milk and the meat. These are merely because less productivity of cows in giving milk and low productivity of hen laying eggs. Even if they get some from these animals, they are meant for market. With this information, the JU Cascade team has recognized that farmers in this area could be deficient in protein. The JU Cascade team had thorough discussion and came up with one innovative idea that could address the two major problems simultaneously. This was introducing leguminous crop that is rich in both protein and oil and could elevate soil fertility decline. We curiously assessed whether the crop could thrive and give the intended promising yield by considering the biophysical conditions of the area. The preliminary information we obtained on soil properties and temperature revealed that the area could be of high potential for the crop. Although the crop could adapt to ranges of soil types, many authors found that the crop gives better yield in areas with clay to clay loom and a slightly acidic soil type. Soil of Jimma and the Lua Babura areas has such properties and is most appropriate for the crop. We introduced two cultivars, CS1 and Clark, to Bedele and Limusak in 2012, and on average, three tons of grain yield was obtained. Since farmers had little information on how to process and consume the grain, we should have trained them. Accordingly, last year, JU Cascade team trained 65 women and 40 men farmers on processing of soybean and recipe preparation at Banshuri and Haro Gavrek Abales of Bedele and Dora Abale of Limusaka. It was after the training that 
the demand of the crop by different other farmers has emanated. The technology has diffused to other neighbor farmers. And in 2013, more than 69 project farmers in Dora Kabale of Badale and more than 25 in Banshuri of Badale sold the crop owned greater than quarter of hectare by buying the seed with high cost, 25 per, per kg, from their neighbor farmers. Anali Musaka, Gandadura Gabana, Kananjirat. My name is Kadra Bamagal. I live in Dora Gabana, Kabale of Limusaka. When the JU Cascape team brought the seeds to sow on our field in 2012, I even didn't know what type of crop it is. However, after I was trained with my wife on processing, we started to consume it with my family members. I then started to grow it in a larger area in 2013. I even detected there is soil fertility improvement with the land area planted with soybean. Maize yield was found to be higher from the land on which soybean was previously grown. In 2012, I was provided with Clark and CS1 varieties. The difference is that Clark was taller and had higher biomass. I think this one could be good to improve soil fertility, but CS1 test is better, also Clark is higher in yield. Kan ambo dem musuk jauh sarah sarah hemo, waktu ayah nanti dik demi tu kan itu, jadi ada angkulali ras, misira ras, dinicar ras, wan membarbari. I saw kita one night, I then grind the cheese my stone grinder, then I boil it and the filter is using clean cotton fabric. I use the filter one is ras milk or yogurt. I never throw out what remains on the filter cloth. When I want, I can prepare more than 21 food items from it by adding lentil, egg or carrot. When I soak the soy grain, I add 1 cup of soy grain into 7 cups of water. However, after I grind it and prepare milk and yogurt, I filter 2 cups of ground soy using 4 liters of water. For example, I can use this one either for milk or yogurt. I also soak the madam for preparing soy milk or yogurt. I am not being this person. I am aware of that. It is very useful for children and for me too. I am not considered that this soy bean has importance before I got trained how to process it and consume it. I know it is important after I was trained on how to process it. It substitutes a number of items required to prepare even wood, such as potato and a lentil. With this one that remained on filter gloss, I do prepare a number of food items, either with egg, lentil, carrot or potato. It is a bit tough to grind it and bring out these outputs, but it is worth rewarding. I can make many food items even from a little amount of this. This is soy milk. I soak this 10 add a minute and it can be drunk after 10 minutes. I also add some for yogurt. For the yogurt, however, I need to soak this 10 add wait until 2 days. After 2 days, I can eat the yogurt of this soy. This is the soy porridge. I prepared the porridge from soybean. It is not meant only for this. Choco can also be prepared from this soil.
It is bread can also be prepared and etc. I prepared this porridge to have it with my children. To your surprise, farmers' interest has leaned from cow milk to soy milk. I don't have cow and I don't have money to buy it. May God be blessed for giving me such opportunity. My neighbors were coming and seeing how I prepared this. And they are now well skilled in making that different food items from soy. Farmers have high interest to grow soil in larger land area. After a provision of training on how to process, the price of soybean went higher. This has moved the goal of project farmers to produce higher by allocating large land areas so that higher yield that could bring higher economic return could be achieved. This is also the intention of Keria. In the future, I want to grow much with soybean. I want to train others on how to process it. I want to buy ox by selling the produce. Not only this, I want to buy also a house. In the future, JU Cascape team has planned to bring stakeholders on board and facilitate the conditions for scaling up of SOA technology. Furthermore, the JU Cascape team has planned to work much on the value chain development of SOA. Thank you.